Hello, I'm Atlas John, and today we're going to talk about a new CPQ deployment tool the Blue Canvas has developed. And you can sign up on this tool at cpq.bluecanvas.io. And after you sign on, let's sign in. It supports any org currently. And let's connect our orgs. I have two um, CPQ playgrounds with sample data enabled. And you can also enable NetSuite ID if you're using um, any ERP system like NetSuite from Oracle. We also support that right now. So let's connect. So at this version of the tool, we have master data configuration data and metadata validation tabs. But these are subject, subject to change. And after you sign in, you can click on any of them, like products, and you can see the comparison. And you can also see the action that the tool uh, can take uh, by comparing automatically uh, the difference in data on each org. Because CPQ deployments are actually data and metadata deployments, um, this tool offers an upgrade from data loader and helps you manage and uh, with a simplified approach as an upgrade to compare to other tools like data loader. Also, it is hosted outside of Salesforce, so it's not bound to restrictions uh, from an app exchange app, for example, that you would have uh, inside of Salesforce and you, when you would need to work within its boundaries. And because the comparison is done automatically, if you change any data in any org that you're connected, you will see the um, automatically the difference uh, between data and the action that the tool would take. So let's create, for example, a product rule in one of the orgs in, um, where, you, where we would see the difference. So to enable uh, using CPQ deployment tool, we need to enable multi-currencies. So let's enable that now. Remember that this cannot be turned off uh, when you enable it. So right now, as in the beta stage, we need to enable it to be able to use the tool. So after enabling multi-currencies in both of the orgs, at this version of the tool, uh, let's go to the source org and create a product rule. Let's give it a name called known cloud storage for this account. Type validation, scope on product, Evaluation event on always, and conditions are met or for all. Let's give it an error message. So after uh, our product rule is created, let's go back to the CPQ deployment tool, see it action, and here, here it is. And the action it takes is create. So once we select it, we can choose to deploy it and it will be um, deployed instantly. So let's do that. Of course, there will be other objects and lookup queries and formulas and you know restrictions and other objects necessary for, for, um, for it to deploy normally. But for our demo purposes, we're just going to deploy it like this. And it's done. And because it now exists on both orgs, uh, the action is shown as none. Like I mentioned before, we've tried to uh, take a simplified approach to easier deployments and We've tried to make the UI and UX as efficient as possible, minimal, and also familiar to CPQ power users. And to be able to deploy data fast and efficiently, they've also come up with uh, keying strategies. So one of the common approaches that I know is to um, use rely on external IDs so you can track one object across many orgs. So while this is supported, we're also using different keying strategies such as name and also other fields that you can create. And we're also hoping to deliver more functionality in, in terms of that regard in the future. But right now, for example, if you're using an ERP, you can use NetSuite ID um, if you're using NetSuite. Or you can create a custom field and track based on that key. So these are being supported right now. And also one other advantage that the uh, BlueCams deployment tool, CPQ deployment tool, offers is to, if you have an extensive product catalog up to like 100,000 or uh, more products, we also support that. And uh, in our tests, um, we have shown the performance is uh, pretty good. So we don't need to worry about if you have an extensive product catalog. This, this tool is exactly built for that purpose. So thanks for tuning in. This was like a uh, simple overview video of the uh, CPQ deployment tool that we're developing at, here at Blue Canvas. Feel free to uh, give us always feedback from our website. And you can always sign up to um, try out the tool at cpq.bluecanvas.io. And I'm hoping to see you in the next video. Thank you.